And so I think the other thing that's coming is resilient buildings uh, yes. and resilience in yes. cities. How do we, how do we uh, take it even to that next level? Right, which will under which will require understanding buildings in a sort of a layered kind of a way. You know, right? What are the what are the mission critical functions of a building that yeah. need to be protected? What are the um, the less important functions of the building that that don't need the same level of, of of protection. What are the what are the levels in between? Uh, so yeah. it's really a and what will make that building work? You know what 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 will make that building perform well today? And what will that building need in order to perform well in ten, twenty, thirty years? I mm. guess you know what mm. are we building for the future? So the other thing that's important is flexibility. When we're whether we're retrofitting an existing building or building a, a new structure. Um, making sure that we build it with a mind towards a, sort of an open um, architecture, uh, open IT architecture, so that we can accommodate new uses of the building over time, new technologies, new innovations that come into the marketplace over time. Right. That the whole IT infusion into infrastructures it seems so exciting because it um, provides to us information about um, what needs to physically change in the building and where kind of the biggest leverage can be achieved um, in a fairly, in a relatively low cost way to yeah. add that, that, that IT and then to be able to spend the other money in the best, the best way.